Before you start a simulation, here are some instructions to prepare the model correctly and get the best out of a simulation with Ingrid Cloud. Wind comfort and wind load applications simulate airflow in an urban environment so objects can't be floating. All geometries and buildings must be placed on the same level unless topography is being modeled, and we'll talk about that later. Models don't need a bottom plate. Ingrid Cloud automatically creates a floor under the model before starting the simulation. If your model contains a bottom plate with zero thickness and which covers approximately the same area as the rest of the model, it won't be a problem. Your simulation should work. Remove small details. Features such as balconies and stairs have little influence on the results at pedestrian level. You should only keep balconies if you specifically want to study comfort on them. The fewer the details, the faster your simulation will finish. Since we are analyzing external wind flow behavior, all openings must be closed. Please shut all doors, windows, and any other openings. In wind comfort simulations, in order to better represent the flow near the area of interest, we recommend the inclusion of all surrounding buildings within a radius of at least 200 meters around the area you want to study. Ingrid Cloud supports 11 different file formats. The best file format to use is STL because there's virtually no limit on file size. For all other supported formats, a maximum of 50 megabytes is recommended. If you'd like to use topography, you need to create a slope connecting the topography to the ground level. Keep in mind, the edges of the model cannot be too thick or too high so that it does not disrupt or influence the airflow. The best way to set up a model for a wind tunnel simulation is by preparing a slope underneath the topography. The slope will act as a smooth path for the wind flow, allowing turbulence to be correctly predicted around your area of interest. Ingrid Cloud will take the lowest level of your geometry to automatically set the ground level. All structures modeled on top of your terrain should be contained within the slope or the terrain area. We recommend the area covered by topography and its slope to be at most 20% larger than the area of interest. The maximum model extension allowed is 1.2 kilometers.